finally, we are seeing this happen right in front of our eyes. The move where money goes from Bitcoin to Ethereum and to finally altcoins. And we see from crypto bubbles, if we go to the last day, we see that most things are up. If we go to the last week, literally everything is up. And if we go to the last month, well, we're up even more, which is absolutely great to see. And we talked about the Bitcoin dominance chart in the previous video or a couple videos ago, where we were talking about what would happen if we were to see the Bitcoin dominance continue to come down with the price of Bitcoin staying relatively the same. We were to see altcoins get a boost in price as the money flows out of Bitcoin into Ethereum and finally to altcoins. So we have seen that, you know, we had a peak of the Bitcoin dominance right around here, around 55%, and we've lost a couple couple percentage points here but the price of Bitcoin has stayed relatively the same. So if we take a look at Bitcoin, we take a look at what's happened here. Well, you know, we've had this consolidation phase. So it's literally just been consolidating between, you know, 44,400 all the way to about 43,000. You know, this gap of about a thousand is not doing much in terms of what's happening within the crypto space. This is just Bitcoin consolidating. And thus we are seeing the Bitcoin dominance go down down and this is what happens to our altcoins. Now, if I bring you back to the money flow chart, just to give you guys the understanding, because we are going to see this time and time again, as we approach the next bull market, as we approach the next bull peak, which I still believe that it's going to be in 2024 or 2025, most likely in 2025, as the Bitcoin halving is in April of 2024. So this cycle here is going to happen again, and you can be prepared for that next alt season or the next big pump in altcoins. So as I said, what happens here is everything goes into Bitcoin first. So if we go back to the Bitcoin chart, this is a four hour chart. But as we can see, you know, from December 2nd all the way to December 8th, we see a nice price move of about, you know, 38,000 all the way to 44,000. Now, that was the move on Bitcoin, but over the last few days, Bitcoin has stayed in this range. So after that, what happens is Ethereum starts moving. So people take money out of Bitcoin. They go into Ethereum because, of course, Ethereum is your second largest cryptocurrency. And if we take a look at what happened here, so we have, you know, people taking money out of Ethereum as Bitcoin stays stagnant. We do see that Ethereum continues to go up. So if we go, you know, from December 3rd all the way to where we are now, we're still up about 10%. Whereas Bitcoin has basically stayed stagnant. Now, what happens after that is that all of this money goes into large caps. And after that, it goes into the altcoin season. So right now we are seeing, you know, Ethereum is still doing quite well. It's still slowly trending up, but we are seeing these large caps do absolutely crazy things. Speaking of the first one, Solana. I mean, we had so much hype with the Jupiter airdrop. People made thousands and tens of thousands of dollars with this airdrop, and there was a massive influx of people coming on to the Solana ecosystem. So there's two parts to this. One, you know, the basic traditional money flow that's going into large caps, as well as the airdrop hype on Solana. So over the last days, Solana's up 10%. Over the last seven days, it's up 21%. And again, Solana has just been on a tear of its own and it's adding fuel to the fire with all of these airdrops that are currently happening. Now, if you are interested in seeing what we're doing in terms of airdrops, we do have a free discord. We post airdrop alerts as well as we have a discussion about airdrop farming. We're talking about wormhole. We're talking about Manta, different protocols on Solana as well. But if that is something you're interested in, then definitely consider joining the discord. It's completely free and people have made some pretty good money on airdrops in here. Now, since you guys are here and are seeing what we have in a discord, 
Discord. Well, we have to talk quickly about Ape Terminal, which is a new launch pad, probably going to be a very, very big launch pad. And right now you can sign up and become an early access member. So I do have a referral link. I'll leave it down below. But if we take a look at Ape Terminal, I mean, they had the IDO with Inspect. Inspect went crazy from IDO prices. When it launched, I think it was a 25X from the IDO prices and Ape Terminal, you can see here, they had Inspect break records in terms of volume, market cap, and one of the top launches of 2023. So what you need to do is you need to go on Ape Terminal on Twitter, give them a follow because you don't want to be missing out what's coming out. And they do say that the second IDO is going to be live within one week. So if you click the link down below, you're going to be able to sign up whether you connect your Twitter account or an email address, that's entirely up to you. You're gonna accept the condition and then boom, you are gonna be in the Ape Terminal dashboard. So they have multiple things here. I'm not gonna go over it too much, but again, we have this launch pad that we have to keep an eye out and they do have other things that they are working on. So as a side note, definitely keep this one on your watch list because I think big things are coming to this launch pad and ecosystem within the next weeks and it is going to continue developing very well in my opinion so if we talk about another large cap that has been blowing up recently we can talk about avax i've been talking about avax ever since this thing was at like 12 dollars. it's now at 28 dollars. we call the price target of 30 dollars for avax and right now it's sitting at about $28.20. So this one here is up about 5% over the last day. And if we take a look at the levels we've indicated here for AVAX, well, we were you know looking for that $30 range as I've mentioned. The reason for that is because we don't really have anything up to this point all the way to $30. So I think we get there within the next few days. Then there's probably going to be some retracement, maybe a bit of a pullback, or it consolidates around $30 before the next move. So AVAX, definitely one of the top contenders on my list. I love crypto gaming, and I love what AVAX has done in order to position itself within the crypto gaming space, but not only crypto gaming, it has a massive ecosystem that's catering to a lot of different narratives in the space. Now, if we move on and talk about another large cap that is seeing a lot of movement, we can talk about Chainlink. This one here wasn't doing much in terms of price appreciation over the last few weeks. It was kind of just ranging between $15 and $15.50. And we have seen a bit of a breakout today all the way up to $16.65. Now, if we take a look at what we were looking at for Chainlink, we were looking at this level here, anything below $14 or even in and around 14 in my opinion was a great buy we can see that it did dip all the way down here to about 1375 on thursday november 28th so about last week then it had been you know consolidating it had another leg up here and over the last day it has broken above this previous resistance of 1665 now i would be looking for a hold of support here before the next move on link so so definitely check out this level, put it on your watch list because this is going to be a key level of support if it is able to hold for link. Now, if we take a look at a day chart here, and if this level is able to hold, then we're probably looking to push towards $18. And if that level breaks, well, we're probably looking at $19.50. But ultimately, I would be looking at this level to hold. If we get another push on, you know, large caps as well as altcoins, we are gonna see probably Chainlink push towards this $18.50 range. So keep that on your watch list. Again, Link is definitely one I would wanna hold in terms of the longer term portfolio because I do believe in everything it is building and the way it's interconnected with real world data to the blockchain data and especially with the BlackRock spot ETF and all the other Bitcoin spot ETFs that are happening, I think Link is very well positioned for the future. Now, if we talk about another large cap that's been blowing up, we can talk about Cardano ADA. 
it's sitting at 54 cents it's up about 20 percent today it was up a little bit more all the way to about 57 cents it has a market cap of 20 billion but we've seen ada just you know go through the moon over the last week or so we have seen you know ada not doing much with the previous spike that we had in crypto it was kind of just ranging around 35 cents but over the last few days it has definitely taken off in terms of price now if we take a look at ada's chart this is exactly what we see for the better part of the last few weeks we were literally in this range for cardano we weren't doing much you know we can go back to the start of november just slowly between 35 to 40 cents nothing really is happening and then all of a sudden we get that switch in the momentum between bitcoin ethereum goes into large caps we see the volume coming in and then what happens to the price it goes parabolic so definitely keep an eye out on ada right now it is obviously definitely overextended it went all the way to about 58 cents it's come back down to 54 cents but in terms of what i would be looking at for ada definitely look around 52 for some support but we are looking at about 60 cents in terms of next resistance so obviously it is definitely extended here but i don't think this move for large caps as well as altcoins is completely finished yet i think there's a lot of momentum in the market especially throughout december i think we're going to continue seeing a lot of strength so definitely don't discount avax here keep it on your watch list maybe buy the dips if you are looking to dollar cost average in your positions but avax has done tremendously well over the last few days now something else i want to point out on avax here is this ecosystem is massive so there are DeFi protocols there are nfts there's a lot of smaller projects you can find on cardano's ecosystem whether it's DeFi, lending nfts whatever the case may be there are tons of projects and if you understand that if cardano you know the underlying ecosystem coin is doing well doing you know 20 percent in one day well you can understand that some of these projects within the cardano ecosystem are also going to see their move after cardano's now one of the ways you can find these projects is if you go to DeFi llama search cardano you are going to be able to see all of the projects that are built on cardano of course some of these have already you know done crazy things over the last few days up about 50 percent over the last week or so but i'm sure you can find some projects that are not talked about that may have some potential to see a move because cardano is doing what it's doing so these are what i call proxy plays you know if you see an underlying ecosystem do well well potentially that you know projects within that ecosystem are lagging behind and will also see a pump we can see that with avax with ethereum and other coins as well now if we move on and we talk about another large cap we need to talk about polygon matic because i believe all layer twos are going to do very well we've seen the move that arbitrum has had we've also seen the move that optimism has had so over the last you know seven days or over the last 26 hours for arbitrum it went from about a dollar five all the way to a dollar 20. we also see optimism if i take a look at this one it has done very well over the last few days too so if we take a look at its run i mean it went from a dollar 75 all the way to about two dollars and 25 cents in the matter of a few days and if we take a look at matic another layer two to ethereum well it hasn't done a similar move to what arbitrum and optimism have done it's not as parabolic but if we take a look at matic i've been talking about this one for a very long time back when it was in this range from about 80 cents to 85 cents we went all the way to you know 95 cents and then we came back down and we were consolidating between the 72 to 80 cent range now what has happened here is of course with the money flow with money moving from bitcoin ethereum large caps altcoins we are seeing the volume pick up on matic so we can see that over the last few days we have seen a move on matic now 
what has happened is we've broken above some key levels of resistance. So we've broken above 80 cents. We came back here to test it again. It held as support and then we moved on and broke this resistance of 85 cents. Now, as I said before, I'm very bullish on Matic, especially with their Polygon 2.0 roadmap. I do see great things happening for them. But what I can expect for Matic here is one of two things. If we get a small pullback, maybe it comes back to test this 85 cent resistance before going to 95 cents or it just goes straight to 95 cents. That's really the two options I see here because of you know the strength we have in the market. I wouldn't put it past it to just go back to 85 cents from the current price. And from 85 cents, I would expect some sort of consolidation before the next move. If it's able to hold 95 cents, then I'm probably looking for about $1.10 on Matic. So in and around this range here, maybe about $1.05 before. But ultimately, I would see Matic going back above $1 within the end of December. Now, last but not least, for my crypto gamers out there that are tracking their coins, not seeing them move and wondering what's happening, well, it's one of two things. Firstly, we have seen a very distinct move in crypto gaming. There's always about two waves to this crypto gaming, and I'll take the example of Miria because we do see it very, very well with Miria. So, Miria was actually one of the first movers. If you go back to, you know, end of November here, Miria wasn't doing much. Crypto gaming wasn't, you know, too, too hot. And then Miria absolutely exploded, going all the way to about one cent in the matter of a couple days. Now, of course, there was another peak here as other crypto gaming coins were getting traction. But as Miria was fading off, we had this second round of any other of these other gaming coins that hadn't moved started moving. As Miria was coming down, all of these other coins that hadn't moved were going up. Now, what has happened is the complete inverse right now. So other gaming coins, and we'll take a look at them, haven't done very well over the last few days, but Miria is seeing its second wave up. So if I give you a very good example of this, we can do it with Miria and Beam. So if we take a look at Miria, Miria is your blue line here. And as we can see, you know, in November, it wasn't really doing much. And then it had its massive run. So this is the crazy run on Miria. But what do we see with Beam? It wasn't really doing much. I mean, obviously, there was the migration happening. People were migrating from the Merit Circle down to Beam. But Beam didn't really get that move. Now, now, when Miria started coming down, what do we see? We see Beam going absolutely crazy. So again, you see that effect of a switch, you know, as people are taking profits, moving it to different coins. That's exactly what we see. So Miria started coming down, Beam went crazy, and what we're seeing now is Miria is going crazy, and Beam is slowly going down, kind of trading sideways here right now. Now, if I give you another example, if we talk about Superverse, which is another very, very popular coin, well, we can see it's kind of doing the same thing. So it's a bit more, you know, relative to what Miria is doing as it was one of the first movers, but we can see that altogether Miria and Super we're doing very well into the last weeks of November. Then we can see that Super had another crazy run as Miria was coming down. And now as Miria went up, we have Super that is coming back up slowly but surely as it is one of the first movers of crypto gaming, as we can see with this first leg up. Now, the last example I want to give you is if we talk about Miria and Jewel, this is from the DeFi Kingdom ecosystem. We can see Miria went absolutely crazy and Jewel wasn't doing anything. I mean, it was just sitting there at one of the very, very low prices it's been at. Miria started coming down and what do we see? We see a massive explosion on Jewel as it hadn't seen that explosion from the previous wave. So definitely understand that there are two distinct waves in crypto gaming. Not all of them are gonna do well at once as people rotate their money into coins that aren't necessarily doing as well. That's when we're gonna see that second push. So keep an eye out on that. And definitely I think that as people rotate out of large caps, 
such as the ones we've looked at and are looking to go back into altcoins, more speculative plays, we are gonna see another run on crypto gaming. So with all of that being said, if you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Don't miss out on the Ape Terminal early access. There's a link down below. Join the free Discord and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.